Hey you two, this is Ronald GI Nerd Commander here with a review of Storm Shadow and Firefly. I'm just going to call these ones the Renegade series because they're both based on the cartoon. Okay, who should we start with first? Let's go with Firefly, my absolute favorite uh, character. Try to get the camera in focus. As always, it is so difficult to get this camera to focus. That looks okay. Uh, Firefly is incredibly cartoon accurate. What does he come with? Well, this really, really cool uh, missile or bomb. I'm not quite sure, but it's neat. And um, if you have uh, oh, cry, yeah, the um, uh, Steel Brigader or any of the um, the large... Oh, just hold on. <laughs> hold on a second here. To illustrate my point, because my... I am lacking in verbal skills at the moment. Come on, guy. There we go. Um, this is just kind of a cool thing I found is that you can just kind of set the uh, missile on here as if it's a small tripod of some sort. Well, okay, now it doesn't want to stick. Well, YouTube, you get the idea. You could use one of these and put it on there. It looks neat. So, but uh, and we'll just throw that aside, of course. And what else does he come with? Uh, he comes with a really cool, uh, basically old school style cell phone, but you can pretend like whatever you want it to be. And a really nice modified, uh, I assume, AK-47 of some sort. Uh, the machete is removable right there. Phone's going off. Looking at it real quick. And then he also does come with a um, sweet little grenade launcher that does not open. There. Okay, so um, this firefly, like I said, is really, really cartoon accurate. Um, in the cartoon itself, uh, the firefly character, I thought, I thought he was okay. Um, I do really like the uh, mask. I like the idea of having his uh, nose out. I don't, I'm not sure why, but I don't know. Just it, he's cool. I mean, it's firefly. You can. It's really hard to screw up Firefly unless you make him, uh, I don't know, if, if they made a Firefly where he's wearing a diaper and uh, holding a sign that says, I like poo-poo poo -poo or something, I, I don't know, but Firefly to me is just always cool. But, um, uh, I completely just lost my place. Okay, going back to Firefly, um, I found an, an abundance of Fireflies on the shelf so of course instead of just getting one I got quite a few of them and uh, I took the vest off this one and I tried putting the vest back on actually and it wouldn't fit so I put a um, the little scarf and goggles from the sand viper on and now the camera seems really out of focus again oh well who cares so uh but that's just one idea that you know maybe if you're like me and there's an awful lot of them and you like firefly you want to buy a couple more anyway so uh there you go as far as articulation goes, I mean, of course he's got this, so he can't really move his legs too well. I've had really no problems at all with the arms or anything else, so, to speak of, just a really cool figure. I like him. I mean, like I said, Firefly you can never go wrong with, so, definitely cool. Always gotta pick him up. And let's just, I'm making an absolute mess of action figures on here. And now let's go to Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow was another figure that I wasn't going to buy sim for the simple reason that I just I have so many Storm Shadows it just didn't seem like I needed to get another one. But eventually I broke down and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll pick him up too. And I'm really, really glad I did because this is so far probably the best figure I've gotten out of the 30th anniversary slash renegades, whatever the heck it's called now, line. This figure is really great. Articulation is amazing. Um, this guy comes with so much stuff that to even get to all of it would take another five minutes of your time, and I don't want to waste your time. So, I mean, just real quick. Um, uh, the alternative head. I, I always like getting an, the al an alternative head because I'm... A big time head swapper with figures so yeah you got that um you know you you get an awful lot of stuff in there 
Uh, the only thing I just I didn't really like was the fan. The fan was kind of meh, but um, and then you also get like the alternative uh, belts and whatnot. Tons, just tons and tons of weapons, and small too. And for any other figure, you would probably be like, you know, how is he gonna? Well, I can't even pick this up. I'm trying really hard to pick this up. I can't pick this up. Okay, I wedged it into my finger now. Sweet. Um, move this. I mean, this is so small. Any other figure would not be able to hold this. With Storm Shadow, though, let's remove the nunchucks here. The amazing, just. To be able to have the uh, great detail of the finger separation on here, I know to some people it's probably minor, but to me it's just really, really cool. Let's try to get this in here. I mean, just awesome. Ah, I love this figure. Anyway, um, and then he also has like the, the bow. There's another side back here. I didn't put anything on the bottom here. Blah blah blah. The two swords. Uh, another thing I really liked is that this is removable from. Oh well, look at that. Okay. Well, not only is it removable from his back, but um, cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that. There's dust in here. What does that say? <laughs> awesome. That's really cool. Hey, we figured we found something out together. YouTube. I don't know if that's dust or glue or what, but hey, look at that. That can come apart. and Cool. So, um, anyway, getting back to the original point I was going to make before I made... I thought that was glued together. I didn't know you could open that. Sweet. I like that. Anyway, um, I really like that you can remove the backpack uh, separately from anything else on him, which a couple of the other Storm Shadows did not do. And, um... Yeah, you've probably already seen a lot of reviews of this guy, and if there's any reviews that you see where they don't like this figure, uh, I, I, I don't know how you could not like this figure. He is absolutely just 110%, and then you could add another three or four to that. Just really, really awesome. Um, the articulation, like I said, is just really, really great. Um, because of so much stuff. You have so many different options with this figure. It's so cool. Uh, definitely my favorite best figure I've gotten within the last... God, I don't even know how long. So, uh, yeah. I, do, I don't assume that he would actually make that sound. But anyway, um, as far as Storm Shadows go, I've always been very critical about you don't really need another Storm Shadow. Yes, you do. If a Storm Shadow is this cool, yeah, you do need this one. So, um, out of all the figures that have come out within the last little while, if you're not necessarily a G.I. Joe fan, you have to have this figure. And if you are a G.I. Joe fan, you would push your granny down the stairs to get this figure if you don't already have him. Because he is just really, really great. Absolutely love him. And um, I, I can't say anything really else about him other than that I hope that everyone has a chance to find this figure because it is just that cool as he falls to the ground. So anyway, this has been the one only G.I. Commander as I rip Storm Shadow's head off. Fatality! And, uh, try to get the alternative head on. I guess the only really problem that I have had with this figure is that trying to get the alternative head on is a huge pain. But at the same time, even though it's a huge pain to get the alternative head on, it stays on really, really well. Camera, if you're not in focus right now, I'm going to be so mad. So, and now he's a little bit more um, accurate to the, uh, cartoon, I guess. I don't really like this head as much, but it's going to look great on uh, another body. I really just, God, I love this figure. He almost reminds me of, um, like the first time 
I got a Storm Shadow when I was a kid, and just being like in awe of this incredibly cool ninja as the camera falls, and that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I don't care. Whatever. Um. Anyway, it it almost it it harkened back to the days of my childhood, the first time I got a Storm Shadow, and how impressed I was with him, and just. I don't know, every so often they make a Storm Shadow that's just really, really awesome. Um, I could... There are a few Snake Eyes out there that I would say are really, really cool. But to me, Storm Shadow is one of, if not the best um, characters of the G.I. Joe series. Just, yeah. Even, I guess we just talked about Firefly. Firefly is probably my personal favorite just because Firefly... Um, Likes to blow shit up and whatnot. I don't know. But I think that the background story of Storm Shadow is just really great. Uh, especially in the comic books if you have a chance to uh, check those out. So anyway, this has been the one only G.I. Nerd Commander. Um, definitely would recommend both these guys. Um, really great. Firefly, uh, a little on the cartoony side, but really cool. And this Storm Shadow, um, almost uh, kind of best of both worlds. Because you get the cartoony look, but also you get this... You know, just straight up, that's Storm Shadow. That is Storm Shadow. Should probably remove the... I, I actually like the black better than the red, but... Anyway, now I'm just rambling on as I normally do. So, there you go, guys. Uh, this has been the one and only GI Nerd Commander. Thank you so very much for watching, subscribing, rating. Every single thing that you guys do is awesome. Don't think that's not appreciated. Some people don't appreciate it. I do. I do. So, thanks again. And I will see you all next time.